Hey guys! So I'm here with this new idea on my channel that I want your input in. I need you guys to let me know if you actually like this um, kind of theme that I want to do. Um, this is in regards to monthly favourites. I was finding that I would forget things in the monthly favourites and would always feel kind of disappointed with those videos. Um, so I thought that I would do um, something more frequent where I could wrap up everything that's happened in the week. So from nursery updates, so art work that I'm doing, um, babies that I'm working on, talk about them, um, and then my collection, do a wrap up on things like that. And also, you guys know that I'm really crafty, and so um, just things that I've been making. I really wanted to share that with you all. I feel like um, the YouTube channel connects me to all my other social media that I use, but a lot of people that use YouTube um, don't use my Instagram channel um, as much, or um, Facebook or the blog so I thought if I had one place where I could like sort of just bring that all together that would be really really cool um, but of course you are the ones that are watching these videos and I don't want to be making them if they're boring or anything like that I want you guys to let me know if you are happy with the monthly favorites or something like this so let's get in to what I'm going to be doing today so um, not much has been happening in the last week because you guys know I was on holiday so in the nursery changes part there wasn't a lot happening um, out of the usual but I did start working again and you guys would have seen the two videos that I posted up on the both babies that I worked on um, I did Willow's hair on holiday and then I also did um, George's hair this week and so those videos are already up on the channel you can check them out the links uh, in the description below. I'm really really happy with both of their hair and how they've turned out. Um, I had to re-glue George's head this morning because I missed a tiny spot but I didn't want to risk that hair coming out so she's back on the drying rack waiting to be done otherwise she would have been made today which is kind of a shame. Um, and Willow is still waiting on the cable ties. They've not yet arrived and I actually have to go out and buy some stuffing. So that's pretty much what's happening in the nursery from last week um, and a small tidbit I am starting painting today and I am working on these two kits it is the uh, Larry by Natalie Blick um, and her name is Larry as well so it's kind of cute and um, Theo is the Anastasia sculpt by Olga Auer so those are the two babies that you can find out about in next week's weekly wrap up uh, moving on to my collection, I didn't do much with them this week, unfortunately. Um, I have been really busy with other things that I was doing. I was trying to make sure that everything was um, up to date and ready for the week um, coming. So um, I was really busy doing that. I only did one video with my babies last week, which was Theme Thursday, and it was Zoo Animals. And I have to admit that uh, Leo is the only one still dressed in that outfit. I have not changed him yet. Um, Charlie got some new clothes, um, so here is the photo of that. And Bailey went on a very special trip with my sister. Um, he went to her doctor's appointment, so um, everyone loved him. So I wanted to video um, some of the things that I've done over the past week for you very quickly. Um, I brought this frog um, infant um, net ring and I attached a button here so I could use it to um, make it a lot easier to root here on and it really works so I'm really happy with that purchase. Um, and what else have I made? This is my temperature blanket so far. Admittedly I have been... Um, <laughs> very slack on catching up because I've been very busy. So I'm going to do some of this tonight but it's looking really really cool and I love how it can be two different sides. So yeah and then if I can grab the ball. Poor old Bailey's like just trapped. <laughs> um, I made this frog hat for Georgia and it's got a little crown on it. I made the crown myself. Pattern credits to the frog hat is repeat craft to me. It looks so cute guys, I just love it. And then I 
I made for an order. I made this horse hat um, and I modified Precrafter Me's um, unicorn hat. Normally there's a horn right here. Um, because there wasn't anything there I added the nostril detail. I think it looks really really cute. It's for a six month old baby so I tried not to make it too heavy with the mane. And then there is this um, this hoodie that was going around in the music scene that I listen to a lot. And um, um, it was this colour, yellow. And every time I saw this yarn in my yarn bin, I would always think of this hoodie. And on the hoodie it has these donuts that are like blue and pink. So I <laughs> created a donut um, last night. As you can see it's still ready to be tied on. And this is going to be a lovey. And I'm going to stick like some of it through the the donut hole I think like that um, to make it work but obviously I'm still working on the blanket so I'll be working on that sometime soon as well and finally um, this was my favorite of the week my favorite outfit jo uh, not Georgia Maggie was wearing this all week pretty much because I didn't want to change her out of it it's got cute little deers and stuff on it I've had this for a while and it was brought um, for her a long time ago so I'm so glad she looks so cute in it um, but that is it for this week so please let me know if you really enjoyed this video I know a lot of it was photos and stuff um, I hope to make it a little bit more exciting in the future but um, yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys and please let me know um, below bye